All right, guys. So today I'm going to do a quick little video, little service on the on my wife's 2018 Highlander. It's just going to be a quick oil change. So yeah, we we'll we will be using the recommended OW20. It says it right there on the cab. I like using this uh, Amazon Basics. They're pretty good. I'm gonna use a original OEM Toyota Toyota filter. They're cheap enough. And also, we're gonna use, we're gonna replace the gasket, obviously. Also Toyota gasket, They're cheap enough. So uh, yeah, car ran for about a few minutes. Uh, just to kind of get the oil uh, warmed up. Not super hot, but just warmed up. So, yeah. Uh, let's see what we got here. That's where the filter is. And just behind that is the oil pan. And there's the oil bolt drain plug. All right. Let's get to work. So the drain plug is a, it's gonna be a number 14. I also had to bring in a, a little flathead screwdriver because the gasket tends to stick to the pan. So once we loosen it, uh, this thing is attached to the, it's attached to the drain plug. Hold pressure on the bolt just until the last threads and then just release. Nice and clean, grab a rag. Allow that to drain. In the meantime, clean the bolt. There's a gasket. You could probably reuse these, but uh, if you don't have a new one, but you know, they're, they're cheap. So I just like to clean the bolt. you guys get on sit and wait in the meantime so with this filter here I know it comes with this push drain thing I'll show you but I, I never use it because I just remove the complete housing without draining whatever oil is in the housing because it doesn't make that much of, an, of a mess if you're careful and that's just one less bolt to for you to have to remove so I'll be doing that here in a little bit actually let's see what what size okay 3 8 3 8 drive that's for that cap if you wanted to remove this and then drain the housing but we're not gonna do that we're gonna go ahead and just remove the housing it's quicker and uh, easier that way, in my opinion. I'm gonna let that drain just for a little bit longer. In the meantime, let's grab the tool for this. So the first time I did this, I made a mistake. Why? Because I went to O'Reilly's and got this cheap, uh, cheap, uh, very inaccurate cuts, very loose and the fins that these uh, grooves fit in. So what ended up happening was I just, I busted off 
couple of the fins because it wasn't a nice tight fit. So I went on Amazon and yes, I spent a little bit more money and I got something a lot better. And this works every time, all the time. So, yep. That's just about done. Go ahead and put the drain plug in. Okay, now you don't have to wait until this is completely done. You know, that's fine right there. Go ahead and put the bolt. Before tightening it, I like just to clean up the area a little bit. Every 14 millimeter. Just needs to be snug doesn't have to be gorilla tight just nice and snug all right now onto the filter now you do have to align the fins Lefty Lucy. And once you're able to do it like that, I like to remove. Just do it by hand. Now, I gotta get these lined up again. Remove the tool completely, do it by hand so I don't get the tool all dirty with oil. It's not that serious, but. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the filter filament. Kind of clean up the housing a little bit. I'm trying to get, trying not to get oil all over. Take a good look inside. Make sure there's no funny sparkly metal shavings. If that's the case, you got a serious problem. All right, now. So since we didn't remove this, you obviously don't have to use the smaller O-ring that sits in here, but we are gonna use this bigger one that sits right in this groove right here. And obviously we don't have to use this tool. 
if you did remove this, you would push this in there and then it would drain all the oil that's in the housing. But like I said, it's quicker, easier this way. And yeah, you don't have to. So. Oops. It's always good to put a little bit of lubricant on it just because when it goes back into the into the car and you tighten it down it's not gonna it's not gonna want to stretch or anything it's gonna just slide now we're gonna just put it and you can see which groove it sits on the biggest groove right here it doesn't sit all the way on the bottom but just in, in this groove right here, like so. Boom. Okay. Now we're gonna grab the filter element. Uh, it goes either direction. We're gonna push down on it. Nice and springy. All right, now what I like to do is, I'm just gonna grab a quart of oil and just put a little bit of oil in here. It's not mandatory or anything, but it just kind of helps with, I don't know, pre preventing the uh, engine from not having oil for that split second because it's filling up the, the housing. All right. Give it a minute and the paper element should be soaking up some of the oil and that's good enough for me. All right, now let's see. Now, I know the angle's bad, but this is, this is all I have to work with. I'm gonna try and hold it and do it at the same time. Now this doesn't have to be tight either because it kind of bottoms out and then just kind of give it another little, a little bit. You should be good. Always clean up after yourself. That way, if for whatever reason you got a leak, you know exactly where it's coming from. And bam, don't forget drain plug. Don't forget to install this and we are done.
almost. We gotta put oil in the engine. All right. We're gonna do it a little quick. Forget the jack stands. Okay, now we're going to lower the car. One more quick glance. Now the book says that this takes like 5.8 quarts, but we'll do five and a half. Start the car for a few seconds, let the oil circulate, check it and add as necessary. All right, here we go with the first one. Now, here's a little tip. I'm sure you guys already know this, but for those who don't, now when you open this, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna have a tendency to wanna go pour it this way because the exit is closest to this and it kind of makes sense, it, you know, to pour it like this, but you actually pour it like this and it even has a little indication here on how to pour it. So yeah, it's actually easier to pour it like this and you make less of a mess and it's more controlled. You can actually see when the fluid comes out and it won't sneak up on you as if when you're doing it like this. Anyways, that's just my two cents. Oh, and another thing, um, if you guys do buy the Amazon Basics oil, it's actually cheaper if you just buy it in quarts instead of a five quart uh, big, big jug. It's actually cheaper to buy six single quarts. And you also, you know, need six but if you were to buy one five and then a quart, it'd be more expensive. The only thing that sucks is uh, when you go to put the old oil, you gotta put it in all these little containers, these single quart 
containers instead of one big five quart. But yeah. Almost there. All right, now this is gonna be five and a half, and then we'll start the car, check on it. All right, well, that's basically the gist of it, and um, yeah. Catch you later.